Is that, is that rain? Oh, I just cleaned my car. Good thing I got 3D floor mats. All right, so today I'm gonna be telling you my thoughts on the 3D Max Piter floor mats. Um, I got these for my Audi and I got them as a gift. However, I wanted them, so I would have bought them anyway, but you know, gifts are cool because they're free. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored in any way. Um, these were not given to me by the company. They were given to me by my father for a Christmas day, Christmas gift. So when I say gifted to me, I don't mean by the company. I mean, they were personally bought and then given to me. So I'll basically walk you through the good things I, I found with them, the things I like about them, and then the things I don't like about them. Um, however, let me just say that I recommend these over all other floor mats. So. So I, I first came across these when I was detailing a Tesla um, and he had these in his car. Um, I immediately off the bat never seen these before, but I liked them. I liked the way they looked. I liked the way they felt and I really liked the way they cleaned. Um, so I decided to kind of get these for myself, get these for my Audi. So here they are. All right, let's, uh, let's get into the things that I like about them and then the things I don't like about them. So to start, um, I really like how they look. They have like a very clean, um, smart look to them. Um, the 3D is raised here. It, it's like riveted on, so it, it looks very um, high end. Um, also the feel, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of like a rubber, it's pretty rubbery, um, but it's not like a tire rubber. It's, it's more of a, it's more of a stiff rubber um, and, it, and it just has like a good grip to it. Um, the backside, it's, I, again, I don't know if, if you'll even be able to see this. Let me see if I can get it to like focus, but it's like a, um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. They're just fibers that are like sticking out um, and it acts kind of like a spider's hand, right? They have little hairs on them, which allow them to stick to walls. And that's kind of the same concept here is there's just little fibers. And when it sets on the carpet of your car, it just kind of grips in there and it doesn't move at all. Um, and then you also have clips for your retainers, just for like your normal cars. Um, my Audi has clips for the OEM floor mats and these kind of clip into that. So first thing is, um, I like how they look. They look really well. I guess WeatherTech looks good also, but um, I think these have an overall better finish. They're not, there's not much going on. Um, it's just very simple, but clean looking. And that's one of the biggest reasons I like them. The second reason I like them is how easily they clean. Um, I had a huge issue with WeatherTechs because of the the texture in the WeatherTech material. It's, it's although it's rugged and it's like, does it, holds up very well over time. It's very, very difficult to clean in and out of those little kind of texture. And if you look closely at a picture, you'll see what I'm talking about. The only thing I found to work on WeatherTech was their specific WeatherTech cleaner and protectant, which ended up looking good, but I can't use a general all purpose cleaner. I can't use a wheel cleaner um, and just get it done really quick. These on the other hand, you spray it down, rub it down with a soft bristle brush and you just rinse them off and they're good to go. Um, they bead water really well. So water is not going to soak in. It's not going to go through. Um, it just holds. And when you wash it off, it cleans off really easy. You can blow it with air and it goes away and just like that. So that's the second reason they clean up really well. Um, so we got, they look good, they clean well. Third reason I like these is that it protects a lot better than the OEM style ones. Um, OEM is just very flat and it just kind of sits in the bottom of the carpet, uh, the bottom of the floor. It doesn't ride up on the side of the walls um, and it doesn't go underneath the pedal. So this one, it has these side walls that kind of go up on the side. So your foot leaning up against the side of it doesn't get as dirty. Um, and it, again, it goes over here and they go up underneath the pedals. So with the OEM ones, when you push the pedal down, your foot would touch the carpet. Um, that's not protected by the floor mat. So these will go up underneath the pedal. So when you push the pedal down, you, your foot only touches the floor mat, not the carpet. So it keeps it a lot cleaner. These, um, much unlike the 
universal ones that you have to cut, it's form fitted to your specific car. So when you buy these, you have to pick your car out um, and it's designed to fit perfectly in your vehicle's footwell. And one other thing uh, with these, I noticed on the Amazon reviews, a lot of people were saying that this center foot piece was lifting off. Um, so last November, I actually went to SEMA and I got to talk to the 3D company and I asked him about that, that problem. He said that was one of the earlier developments of this product um, in which this piece here was a second layer. So it was the floor mat and then this was actually glued on top. After they got all those reviews and people were complaining that it started to lift and peel, they molded this piece into this, the main floor mat. So now this is all one piece. This is not going to lift up at all. It's just kind of ridged in there. Um, so that definitely solved that issue. And they're obviously a lot better now. So now that I talked about the few good things I really liked about these, um, I will tell you the few bad things I regret to inform you about. Um, first off, they fade. And as you can see now, I just washed this so it was a little wet when I was filming earlier. But now you're starting to see this in here. It's kind of discolored. It's just the dark black finish it had is starting to fade over time. Um, this is my driver's floor mat, so it sees the most usage. And it, you know, I have a manual um, A4, so the clutch, pushing in the clutch all the time kind of rubs up and down this with my heel. And so it's starting to wear down. However, that's not too bad because they are floor mats. Um, they are supposed to wear down. It's kind of natural. Um, even the WeatherTech ones will wear down, especially in this area, um, in the driver's side one. The only thing I wish was that there was something that we could do to revitalize this black coating, something that 3D makes to put on in order to bring back that finish. Um, WeatherTech does, they have a WeatherTech protectant that puts it back on, and I tried that on this, but it doesn't work as well because it's a different, different material. So the second thing I don't like about this one um, is that it doesn't go high enough. So I did say that was one of the benefits, that it does go high, but for me, it just doesn't go high enough. I want something that goes all the way up there. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any floor mat that does this, so it's still not really bad because although this one doesn't do it, none of the other ones do either, so it's not like that big of a deal. Um, there really is no fix. So instead, what I did is I took another floor mat, put it up sideways, act as like a second barrier, um, and you'll see that in the pictures. And thirdly, my biggest discrepancy with this um, floor mat, and I'm not sure if it's because it's my car or because it's specific to the Audi models or what, but these clips down here don't clip in. They're, the holes are way too big for the clips. Um, they're in the right spot, and when you put it in, you can kind of wedge it in there so that it, it, it still kind of snaps, but it's not, it's not as perfect as I like it to be. The OEM ones you've put on, you push it down really hard and it snaps in really nicely. And these just don't have it. And I, I really wish they did. Um, again, WeatherTech does do that. And, you know, I guess that is one of the downsides. But in terms of the pluses, I think the positives outweigh the negatives here. And I think these are really good. So <laughs> throughout this whole video, I've been kind of comparing them to WeatherTech quite often. And I think the biggest reason I do that is because WeatherTech's the leading brand right now. Um, when somebody says get aftermarket floor mats, the first thing you think of is WeatherTech floor mats. Um, these are something you should really consider and really look at. Um, I really liked them and they look really well. They fit really well. Um, well, they fit okay and they clean up really well. So in terms of the WeatherTech versus these, I prefer these. Uh, oh, another good benefit, these are really cheap compared to WeatherTech. I think all around they were like 150, 200 bucks, something like that. Um, I'll post a link to the Amazon uh, link where you can get these in the description below so you can see the real time price. But when I was looking at these, they were quite a bit cheaper than the all around WeatherTechs. So that's really something to consider when t looking between the two. All right, with that being said, that's pretty much all I got to say about these. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, sorry I haven't been posting videos recently. I think I skipped two or three weeks. I just honestly haven't felt like it. it I filmed one and I just really didn't like how it turned out and then I was kind of unsure on what to film after that. So, But this 
is now the next video I got. And I got another one about the cleaning the engine bay. So hopefully you check those out. Um, I guess until next time, I'm going to be signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.